Tongas. Good boy. Oh, you gotta stay with me. Can you bark? Ah. Good boy. Circle. Target. Good. Circle. Good. Hello, Servin. How are you? I'm good. Hello, everybody. Hi, my name is Rob. I'm one of the marine life keepers here, and we are going to meet our harbor seals. Welcome to Oregon Zoo Live. So right here we have... <coughs> Hello. So first off, this is Tongus right here. We'll be doing most of our training. We have two others, our two females, Atun and Kaya, right over there. Now, if you guys follow the link in the post, we have some harbor seal-related activities that you guys can do at home. And you'll also notice that we are wearing masks. So we are staying safe, the animals and the staff here at the Oregon Zoo. We are practicing social distancing from one another. And we are wearing these masks today just as another layer of precaution, just to be extra, extra safe. And before we start, I want to mention donations. We are really appreciated of all the support that you guys have given us throughout the years. Really does mean a lot to us. And in fact, you can make a donation right now on this video. Now we're going to do a couple of Q&A's, so if you guys have some questions, go ahead and fire them away, and I will answer them for you. So, for the folks who are tuning in, Rob, who are we here with right now? This is Tongus. This is our male harbor seal. We have one male and two girls, and he is our, uh, he's a 12-year-old male right here. And is, he's one of our stars. He's kind of the superstar seal. So, Zoe had asked how old he is. Can you tell us again? Sure, Zoe. That's a great question. Tongus is 12 years old. And the other two that we have, Atun is our oldest, she's 15 years old, and Kaya is our youngest, she is four years old. So Dylan is asking, what do these seals eat? Hi Dylan, that's a great question. Well, they eat primarily fish. We feed them three types of, or two different types of fish, herring and capelin. We've chopped everything up right now, so they're little bits of fish. And we also feed them squid as well. There's a nice big squid for you. Michaela is asking, how do these seals stay warm in the cold water? Hello, Michaela. Well, these, the way these guys stay warm is they have fat. We call that fat blubber, and they use that blubber to help insulate them against the very cold water that they live in. Jordan's asking where harbor seals live. Where, do they, where are they found in the world? Hello, Jordan. So, harbor seals are found in the coastal waters all throughout the Pacific, as well as the North Atlantic. And it's very common for us to see harbor seals off of the coast of Oregon. How much they weigh? Great question, Kara. Well, Tongus right here is our biggest harbor seal. He weighs about 170 pounds. And then our females, Atun, uh, the adult female, she weighs about 145 pounds. And Kaya, the youngest, weighs 123 pounds. Elena is asking, how do seals sleep? How do seals sleep, Elena? That's another good question. Well, they have a couple of options. One option that they can do is they can actually float in the water with their head above water and take a little nap and then obviously be able to breathe while they take that nap. They also tend to sleep in the bottom of their pool. They sleep underwater because these guys can hold their breath for up to 30 minutes at a time. But it's also very common for these guys to haul out, meaning get out of the water and they'll lay on the rock work in their exhibit or on this deck that we're on. And they do that primarily in the summer months when it's nice and warm so they can do some sunbathing. What are some of harbor seals' predators? That's another good question. Mainly uh, sharks would be the biggest predator, as well as killer whales and orcas. Camille is asking, how do seals walk? That's a great one. Hi, Camille. So these guys kind of walk like an inchworm. So if you see, he'll kind of scoot himself along, and he'll kind of see, he takes the easy route as he slides along the deck. But if you watch him follow me, see how he kind of wiggles and he moves his body and he undulates back and forth? That's how seals get around. They're much more nimble in the water than they are on land. Jason wants to know what their whiskers are used for. Hi, Jason. Those whiskers are used as a sensory organ. So these guys can help if they're ever in murky water or if they're trying to find fish, they can use those whiskers to help detect prey items as well as make sure they're not getting too close and to run into rocks or things like that. Misha's asking, what do you call a baby seal? What do we call a baby seal? We call them pups. Great question. Hi, bud. So, well, what, what, 
Absolutely. Uh, well, it's, it will happen. They're very common uh, visitors out here. The first thing you want to do is you want to leave them alone. You want to not get up close. You don't want to touch them or interact with them. These guys are federally protected, so you're not allowed to interact or touch these guys. Um, but if you ever see one, most commonly what's happened is the mother has left that pup up on the beach while she is out in the surf looking for food. So even though you may not see an adult or a parent around, most likely the parent knows exactly where that pup is. So it's best just to leave them alone. And then if you're ever concerned, if the pup doesn't look in maybe good health or good quality, just contact a wildlife official and let them make that determination. Henley's asking if harbor seals have different colorations. Hey, hey, that's a great question, Henley. So yes, they do. You'll see kind of these dark and light spots. Some of them will have more dark and more black. Some of them will be a little bit lighter in colors, but they all have this general kind of grayish steel and, and light brown. Now, when they're wet, they're, this is what they look like. So his fur right now is wet. When they dry out, this fur actually turns a sandy brown in coloration. And that helps them camouflage when they're laying on the beach as they blend into the sand. Great question, Caden. Um, seals in the wild easily live about 25 to 30 years of age. However, seals in captivity typically live much longer than that, and we can get them to live into their mid-40s. Tony's asking about different kinds of seals. Can you, can you tell us a little bit about, especially here in Oregon, what are the different pinnipeds that live here? Yeah, that's a great question. So you'll typically see harbor seals if you go out to the coast. And if you go along the uh, Columbia at times, we will see uh, excuse me, California sea lions that are swimming around. And on very rare occasions, you may see a stellar. But most likely, it'll be California sea lions and harbor seals off of the coast here and in our rivers. And so what's the difference between a sea lion and a, and a seal? That is a great question. So the easiest way you can tell is look at their ears. So if you look at Tongus right here, he just has a little ear hole. There's no external ear, right? It's just nice and smooth. And then that little hole is his ear. Sea lions have an external ear flap, so you'll see little ears hanging off of these guys. And also another difference is how they move around. We saw Tongus as he kind of undulates and inchworms along the deck. Uh, sea, sea lions can rotate their front flippers and actually stand up on their front flippers and use those to walk basically rather than sliding and scooting around. Great question, Gavin. So when they're wet like this, hold, buddy, they're very, very smooth. Now, if I go with my hand in the opposite direction of his fur, I can kind of rough up some of that and you can see it there. If you look real closely, but a lot of times their fur is so slick, it just looks like skin and people don't realize that they have a layer of fur. Um, but if you can ever catch them when they're dry, it's a very fuzzy velvet. They're very soft and, and is, but it's like a buzz cut. It's really short fur. Yes. Um, great question, you guys. So myself and this other keeper, Sarah Morgan, right over there, both of us went to a very unique school in Southern California. It is called the Exotic Animal Training and Management Program out of Moore Park College. It's a two-year program that teaches you how to work and, and take care of animals in a zoo or an aquarium. Many folks um, go that route, but there's a lot of different ways to get into it. Um, many people have biology or zoology degrees, and then they get an opportunity through volunteering or internships. But it is a very competitive field. Hi, Tongas. Can you back up a little bit? You're very close. So Brielle wants to know, do seals like to play? Yes, Brielle, great question. Um, baby seals tend to play quite a bit and will actually play with each other. But as they age, they kind of become less playful and they are much more solitary in life. But we still see some play behavior with these guys when we give them different toys to interact with. Jessica's asking about their eyes. Can you tell us a little bit about their vision? Yeah, hi, Jessica. So their vision is pretty good. They use that, to, obviously, as they're looking for fish and hunting for fish. And then their vision is also very good above and below the water. So they have very good vision to help find all that prey and help them in the pursuit of their prey. Sage is asking, how long Tongus is? Great question, Sage. Well, I don't have specific measurements on Tongus, but most male harbor seals are about 50, excuse me, 63 inches in length, where females are a little bit shorter. They're about 58 inches in length. Great question, Quinn. Well, Tongus right here eats six pounds of food a day, and that is capelin, herring, and squid. And both of the females eat a little bit less. They eat about five pounds of food a day each. And Vicky's asking if he has a favorite. 
He does have a favorite snack, Vicky. It's going to be either whole salmon or whole trout. I'm not going to show him because he's going to want it. But at the end of this feed, we're going to give him a whole trout as a little reward for cooperating and being so good with us. Good boy. Circle. Good boy. Tonga's bark. Good boy. Tonga, slap. Slap. Give me another one. Good boy. That's a great question. Uh, their top speed is about 12 miles an hour in the water. And they use that mostly in bursts to catch their prey items and then to evade any types of predators that may be hunting the seals themselves. So Rob, with some of these behaviors that you're training, uh, can you tell us why, why, um, why you train those behaviors? Sure. Helps the great question. Why we do all the training that we do here? Well, first and foremost, it is excellent mental and physical stimulation. It's much more enriching than just throwing the food in the water to actually run these guys through training. But what we can also do is teach these animals to perform behaviors that allow us to take better care of them. So a real simple example is an open mouth. Tongas, open. This obviously allows me to look at his teeth and gums. We actually brush their teeth once a month as well. So we actually get in there with a toothbrush and make sure their teeth are nice and clean. We do some checks so we can look at his tummy and we can make sure that there's not any kind of wounds or anything that's concerning to us. Basically, we're getting these animals to participate in their own health care and then it allows us to do a better job of caring for them. Beckett and Lucas are asking, how many uh, pups do they typically have in a season? Great question, Beck and Lucas. Typically, it's one pup, but there can be twins on occasion, but it's not very common. They typically just have one pup at a time. They do have teeth. We'll check these out, Sage, here, if you can get a close-up. Good dog's teeth. Hi, buddy. Good boy, Tongas. So Kelsey's asking, how many seals live at the zoo here? Uh, great question, Kelsey. We have three seals. We have Tongas, who's our male, and over there in the water is Atun and Kaya, and Kaya is the daughter of, of Atun there. Kaya is a four-year-old female, and Atun is a 15-year-old female, and Tongas is a 12-year-old male. Great question, Logan. Well, these guys can hold their breath for up to 30 minutes at a time. In fact, Kaya tends to take naps on the bottom of the pool. And many times we get very concerned guests because they see a seal sitting on the bottom for minutes and minutes and minutes at a time. But that is just normal for her. She will take little breaks, go down, and then when she's ready to take a breath, she'll wake up, come back to the surface, take a big breath, and then go back down and resume her little nap again. So we'll take one last question here. It's kind of a fun one. How do you take care of their teeth? How do we take care of their teeth? Well, by and large, we do toothbrushing. Tongue is open. So what I can do is take a toothbrush. Open, buddy. Hi. And actually just go in there and brush his teeth. It's not as good as going to a dentist, and we don't do it as often as you may at home. We do it about, about once a month, um, but that helps keep their teeth nice and clean as well. And then if, while we're brushing those teeth, we can inspect his teeth and gums, and if there's anything that we feel is concerning, we can invite our vet staff to come down and look at it as well. Awesome. Thanks, Rob. You're very welcome. No problem. Thanks for supporting the zoo. Remember, you can donate on this video as well. And be sure to post any of your Harbor Seal activities. We would love to see them. So either tag us or, or hashtag Oregon Zoo so we can see those pictures as well. Now, lastly, we're going to be feeding him his giant trout here. Tongas may go in the water and prefer to eat it by himself. So we'll see what he does. Here you go, big guy. Did he just go? I think he already ate it. <laughs> I should have picked a bigger trout.